Precision Air's IPO launches today, and Alphonse Kiyoko, who's CEO at Precision Air, joins us on the line now to run us through uh, some of the company's strategy from here on out. Alphonse, thanks so much for joining us uh, this morning. So we've got your IPO, as I say, kicking off today. Shares being priced at 475 uh, Tanzanian shillings each. It's a process that continues through, of course, until the 28th of October. From your road shows and the interactions you've had uh, with the market, what kind of uh, reception has has the company received from the market so far? Thank you very much. Um, we've, we've had uh, very, very many inquiries. I think there's a lot of appetite for our shares in the market. We've gotten uh, inquiries from individuals. Uh, we've gotten inquiries from corporates, uh, trust funds. And I think uh, uh, seemingly uh, these, uh, these, um, these uh, uh, these shares are going to be oversubscribed. Over it's still too early to say, but mm -hmm. uh, at least if we were to judge from the appetite or the questions we are getting from the market, uh, it could be um, oversubscribed. Certainly, uh, some incentive provided is the fact that the offer price was discounted by 11% from the expert valuation. We've got that result anticipated on the 11th of November. What's your target in terms of what you're looking to raise here, Alphonse? We want to raise um, about 27.9 billion uh, T shillings. Um, that is our target. And, and for what exactly? So let's take it through. You, you're raising uh, 27 billion shillings. Where exactly is this being directed towards? Uh, much of this is going towards, uh, <clears throat> towards uh, uh, capital reinvestment. We are thinking of getting more aircraft. We are thinking of uh, also getting the support uh, spares uh, that are necessary for our operations. In fact, about 93.5% of uh, the money that is going to be raised uh, is going to go towards uh, our expansion, capital uh, expansion. And then uh, the rest, 6.5, uh, uh, will go into the operations. So 100% uh, you can say of all the money that is going to be uh, raised is going to be reinvested back into the mm -hmm. business. So bulk of it reinvested back into the business, but that slight bit, a bit being dedicated towards working capital specifically. Take us through the state of the industry as you're experiencing right now and some of the pressures you're under. Okay, uh, what, what we are currently facing in the market is that like if I take a domestic we have uh, a lot of demands that we cannot service, and uh, because of that, we have also seen uh, competitors come in, um, and of course, they are also doing well. Uh, but we think if we get more capital, uh, now we'll be able to uh, to have uh, more uh, more aircraft, and uh, this is going to uh, to ensure that at least we don't frustrate our clients who have been with us for a long time. Uh, the demand actually far surpasses the supply here. And uh, this is uh, what we want to meet. Now, on a regional basis, we are also seeing a lot of opportunities. We started our flights to Joburg uh, just last month, and uh, there's a, yeah. uh, the response has been uh, overwhelming. It, it has been beyond our expectations because we'll be doing very, very well on that route. We also started uh, our operations to Ahaya uh, in Comoros. The response has equally been very good. And uh, what we want to do is to expand to other places within Africa. Mm -hmm. Our main focus would be East, Central, and South Africa for the next um, one and a half years to two years, and then yeah. uh, West Africa and Middle East uh, in the next uh, two years to three years, and then after that it will be uh, Europe. Alphonse, let's pick up on the fact that you say in your territory demand is surpassing supply right now. What position does that put you in, in terms of the kind of pricing power you hold? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? Where you said that demand surpasses supply right now, of course it's that kind of dynamic that influences the kind of pricing power a company like yours holds. So what's the status in that regard in terms of your pricing power? Well, uh, I, I would say the yields are good. Uh, of course, we don't want to exploit. Well, that is relative, but we don't want to, uh, you know, to price ourselves so highly. Uh, to the extent that uh, um, we, we again uh, frustrate the, uh, the, the passengers. But I think the key point there is that when you have people coming uh, to the airport or wanting some seats and really you cannot, you cannot give them those seats, 
uh, it, it is also frustrating to us mm -hmm. because at times you feel the pains, you, you, you feel that these people need to move from point A to point B. You are uh, their, uh, their, their savior and yet you can't do anything about it. Of course, as far as the pricing is concerned, we practice um, revenue management. Uh, and depending on when you buy the seat, uh, the, the price would be uh, different. But yes, uh, in a way, the, the yields are, are, are good.